So I first got interested in journalism when I was at university and started writing for the university paper. But I discovered a true love for TV journalism, funnily enough, when I appeared on a TV show Blind Date when I was also a student. And I discovered a real passion and love for sort of how TV worked in a live studio environment. I moved to Sky uh, about 10 years ago and initially worked as a reporter there, but just for a few months. And then I uh, had one of those proverbial stories where somebody went sick overnight and I got the phone call saying, can you come in and present as the overnight presenter? We've got a free slot. So I said yes, and that was that. And that was I've covered some of the biggest stories of the past decade, including the death of Michael Jackson, the death of Amy Winehouse, the Tunisia beach attack on the British tourists, the Brussels terror attack, and the tragic murder of the MP Joe Cox. Probably one of the most exciting was covering the EU referendum on election night. I was sent to Gibraltar to get the first result. We thought that would be the first result in, and it was. We saw the evening progress. What we all thought was a vote going to go one way, and then it went the other way, and to be up all night and be talking to Gibraltarians and getting their reaction and their shock was a very exciting and thrilling thing to be part of. I think what makes me stand out as a facilitator is the fact that I have literally thousands of hours of live TV broadcasting experience so I know how to get the best out of an interview and I'm also very capable if things go wrong or somebody doesn't want to be in that situation or answer a question or literally the lights go off. I can handle anything. I'm used to things going wrong around me. As well as being a facilitator, I'm also a keynote speaker. I've given talks on the challenges of being a working mother, the work-life balance myth and the glass ceiling. I've also given talks on Brexit and the US elections. I think for any working parent, it's, it's a tough balancing act. We all work these days and we all have uh, pulls on us in terms of our family lives. And it's a juggle and I think it's difficult for everybody. Um, what I try and do is carve out specific family time where at the weekends or in the evenings when we know we're all going to be together. We're all juggling so many balls and at times they get dropped and at times we all make mistakes and forget things. And I think for all working parents the key is to not put so much pressure on yourself. I think the fact that it is a male dominated industry has never really come into my career because when you're on screen they either want a woman or they want a man so you're not really competing with the men. Um, I've always just felt like I'm competing with myself, I've always been very career driven, very motivated and I've always just wanted to do my best and for me that's all I ever feel I can do.